That's correct. Candidate Charlie Baker disappeared off the political radar screen today. Governor elect Charlie Baker showed up, deprived of a little sleep, but ready to make nice with Democrats. It was a smaller core group still hanging around the Seaport Hotel this afternoon. Did he feel cheated last night, minus the music, balloons, and confetti that usually accompany victory? The fact that the Coakley campaign wanted to wait until all the votes were in. Look, I've been on both sides of this, okay? Um, I thought that was a perfectly reasonable position for them to take. Baker's call from Martha Coakley came at 8.15 a.m. It was short, a couple of minutes. She was extremely gracious and congratulating Karen and me on our victory, and I want to congratulate Steve and, and the Attorney General for running a, an aggressive and hard-fought race. Then on to the bigger issue. How do you govern with only a 40,000 vote margin, a Democratic legislature, and a victory some would argue was bought by Republican super PACs? I think our message is fundamentally responsible for our victory. I think our message about what we can do to strengthen our economy and and improve our schools, especially the ones that aren't getting the job done on behalf of our kids and building strong communities and bringing Balance and bipartisanship to Beacon Hill is, is what carried the day for us. Bipartisanship also was the theme being pushed just a couple of hours later by soon to be outgoing Democratic Governor Deval Patrick. Campaign's over. We're looking ahead. It's really important to the Commonwealth and the people we serve that this be a serious, thoughtful, uh, and helpful um, transition. Neither Patrick nor Baker were interested in dissecting what the election meant. Charlie Baker won. And, uh, and one uh, after, like I said, a wild ride of a night. Now, to emphasize his commitment to his new supporters, Charlie Baker right now is at a Roxbury after school program whose leaders helped him to vastly improve his bottom line numbers in Boston yesterday. He's sending a message. Everyone's watching to see where it goes. We'll have more at six.